Hello and welcome to Gathering. I'm Belinda Miller. This is where we keep you up to date with all the latest news and information about Indigenous entertainment. Coming up on this episode, we check out all the action from the Tamworth Country Music Festival. We yarn with Casey Donovan about her new music. Plus, we learn about the preservation of Yongu language. And we catch up with Nathan Foley and find out what's happening around the country. That and much more on Gathering. While I was down in Sydney for the Deadly Awards, I caught up with the beautiful Casey Donovan. I always enjoy catching up with Casey. She's always got a beautiful smile on her face, always full of energy, and such a young, inspirational woman. Right now, she tells us what she's been up to. Lately, I've been doing my own show called Big, Beautiful and Sexy, which has toured New South Wales and also went up to the Brisbane Festival, which was very exciting. Um, I also finished The Sapphires, which finished in June, and we got to finish off in South Korea, which was very exciting and a very new experience for me, never travelling overseas and, and doing a show before, so that was a very a great experience. The Sapphires was an absolutely beautiful play, musical slash jukebox. Um, no one could really get a name for it. My character, Cynthia McRae, was an absolute crack up. She was, she was the comedian of the family. There was, a, there was four sisters and they travelled to Vietnam and Cynthia McRae wanted to be famous. She wanted to be loved and wanted to be everything. I guess the new side of acting, it was great. It was another door that I can open and I can gladly say that I'd happily do it again. It was very special sharing the stage with Christine Anu. She's such a beautiful lady and a beautiful spirit and soul. And, just the knowledge that she has, I've learnt so much and to be working with her again and again, it's just fantastic. It really taught me how to use my knowledge and what I know about things and put that on stage. And, you know, from doing my own typical show, you know, consisting of all songs and a bit of laughs here and there, to be on there reading from a script and knowing that if you stuff up that line, you could stuff up the whole scene or the, <laughs> it was just, you know, there was so much pressure. Yes, my new album, hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be coming out next year. But um, yeah, for now, I'm just gonna pump out the singles. I've already released Big Beautiful and Sexy, which you can download on iTunes, bit of a plug. And there's a new single coming out there very soon. So very exciting stuff in the works for, yeah, the next year. Hey, I'm Preston Campbell. I'm a proud Indigenous man, and you're watching Gathering on NITV. Yeah! Yeah! Hey, guys, I hope you're enjoying this week's episode of Gathering. I'm right here at the Purple Goenna in Redfern, having a great time. But we have some questions from our viewers, which is you guys. So, the first one is from Kayleen Butler from Rockhampton. She would like to know if Mary G has a new show coming up on NITV and what it's all about. Well, Mary Jean, Queen of the Kimberley, has a brand new show which will be premiering on NITV in March called Straight Shooting. So make sure you tune in. If you want any more information, please don't hesitate. Write into gathering at nitv.org.au. This one's from Dr. Anna Chapel of New South Wales. Dear NITV, I haven't been able to see NITV on digital free to air since last May. Well, Dr. Enna, we would love NITV to go to free to air and we are working really hard to secure future funding so we can deliver the best possible content to the widest possible audience, which includes free to air. If you've missed an episode of Gathering, don't worry. You can go to our website, www.nitv.org.au and you can download any of the episodes that have just gone to air. Well, I'm standing here overlooking the town of Tamworth and I'm at the Tamworth Country Music Festival. This is a national event and it's held always in the middle of January. It's certainly one of those festivals to get along to. So come with me and we'll go and check out the Tamworth Country Music Festival. Uh, I grew up in two places, uh, a place in L.A. called Lamita, which means Little Hills in Spanish. Uh, and I grew up on a quarter acre lot there, and I thought I grew up in the country. But then in 1986, I moved to a town called Pinjarra in Western Australia, and really lived in the country. 
I had a the Murray River flowing through my backyard. Picked up a guitar around 16, actually I picked up a guitar around 13 and broke my arm. And then when I was 21, that's when I got completely addicted to guitaring. Yeah, I discovered open tuning and got right into it. You know, I care more about the song than ever before. The musicality comes a lot easier to me, but the poetry is, is the, cha the challenge, and so I like that challenge. I like that journey of discovering new ways of saying more with less. Yeah, songwriting is, a, as I said, very mercurial kind of craft that I still makes me feel like a novice, which is cool. I don't want to be a master. I, I mean, I'm very much in, in, interested in indigenous culture and, and, and moved by indigenous Australia's connection to land and, and uh, place, you know, for me that makes a lot of sense. Oh, you know, as, as I said before, me and Danielle believe in culture. Uh, culture gives us a great sense of place and pride of, of who we are. And, and being an ancient but very young country, um, I think nurturing culture is very important for our well-being as Australians. You know there's a lot of great musicians that have come out of Tamworth and it has a great history and a great, a great legacy and uh, to be part of that fabric is, is humbling and it's a, it is an honour. Peace. I always wanted to be a, uh, a pioneer exploring new boundaries and paving the way for the junior behind me. My highlights of, of performing, I had a Royal Command performance for the Queen Mother, and I had a performance to do for Pope John Paul in Alice Springs. It's going to be all put down in a book. My daughter is writing my autobiography, and after that she wants to do a movie. I'm just a down-to-earth people person, but when I get great honours and great uh, thank yous and, and great exceptions, I, I kind of, not crumble, but I kind of back of my head, nah, that's okay, I, I'm just doing what I like to do. If you can think of me as two people, two personalities, the private person and the public person, and then the private person is, you know, quietly saying, gee, I'm glad I did this, I'm glad I did that, and, and it makes me want to do something more, just to add a little icing on the cake. I love a challenge too, I'm a bit of a, a challenger, in my quiet way. I feel I feel I qualify now with Dr. James Oswald Little, <laughs> uh, psychologically. <laughs> uh, but I'll never finish. I'll always be doing something. I'm a writer of songs. I'm a um, narrator of stories. And so in my less travel musically, I'll be still functioning with my thoughts, my memories, and my handwriting. Hey guys, Nathan Foley here, and I hope you're enjoying this week's episode of Gathering. Well, let's see what's going on around the country. Well, I've heard fantastic reviews about this play. It's called Waltzing the Wallara, and has some fantastic stars like Ernie Dingo and Ursula Jovic. It's being held at the Subiaco Arts Centre in Perth, Western Australia, up until March the 6th, so make sure you check it out. Now, if you love sport and you live in the Coffs Harbour region, you do not want to miss this. The Ellis Evans Rugby Tournament will be held from the 4th to the 5th at the BCU International Stadium, so don't miss out. Okay, now if you love live music just as much as I do, and you'd want to go and check out the Nenup Music Festival held in Western Australia from the 4th to the 7th of March. Got some fantastic live music, including the Pigram Brothers and Shane Howard, so go and check it out. The Menagerie National Tour is an art exhibition exploring Indigenous art, and it's being held at the Araluan Art Centre from the 25th of February right through to the 10th of April, so make sure you guys check it out. Now, the annual Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras will be held in Sydney from the 19th of Feb to the 6th of March. If you want any more information, visit mardigras.org.au. Well, that's what's going on around the country. Now, if you have an event that you want to promote in your local area, please visit us at gathering at nitv.org.au. Well, I'm Nathan Foley, and thanks for tuning in to Gathering. See ya. I was lucky enough to go along to the annual Gama Festival up in northeast Arnhem Land and I got to see how strong and alive Aboriginal culture is. And I also got to see the support from elders, community leaders and the local school about the importance of keeping Yolngu language alive. Australia is just new country. It's a very new country and look how many 
languages have just disappeared, you know, from the face of this country. One of my sister's boy, he, um, he, uh, he, he's been, he and his partner has been working on this um, program called Sharing Culture. It's a DVD where you can put it in your computer or laptops or, and learn Yolngomata and English, in, you know, both ways. We've given this program everything we've, we've got and, um, yeah, thank you. We felt it was important that it's not only in the home uh, that language and culture be taught but also outside of the home um, and schools are a perfect example of that. It devastated um, with the, the government saying that um, they wanted to take away bilingual um, education. This is another way for the program to be used as well for those communities to be able to strengthen w what, what was taken. You've been watching Gathering. It's been great to have your company. Make sure you tune in again as we continue to share stories from around Australia. To take us out, here is a live performance from Troy Casadaly. This is from the In Tune music series. Here he is with Big Big Love. Look at the sky and tell me what you feel. from the Thank you.